coach Dan Tortora, wake up call DT.com. A unique position that you're in coming to Stanford in your first year with the school and first year of the school inside of the ACC. Just what that looks like for you and the parallel of that as something that's a new challenge for you personally is also a new challenge for the school. Yeah, I know obviously my career, I'm not afraid of challenges. Uh, going to Columbia, going to Washington State were really challenging. And uh, like I said, it's the it's the best conference for basketball, in my opinion. I mean, Tobacco Road, Duke, North Carolina, Virginia, Georgia Tech, all those schools that I grew up, uh, you know, following um, and, and to be able to, to be associated with that and kind of measure ourselves against those teams, I think will help. Like I said, we're a national brand, a global school. Um, and if we can uh, get some success, I think we'll attract really good talent. Maxine, Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. You just mentioned the new faces. Just what you can say about the newcomers into this program for the Stanford Cardinal and how you would maybe define the talent and what you've brought in. Well, I think uh, a lot of talent was brought in uh, from all around the country with Jalen from the ACC, with uh, Chisel McCarr from, from Harvard, uh, maybe Ozai Sellers from USC. I think all of these guys are really good for us. Um, we also have got a couple of freshmen, uh, also by the way, uh, Darren Siren from UCLA. Um, I think all are really good workers. Um, most of them have like really like specific abilities, whether it's to shoot, to defend, uh, big bodies to drive down the lane. Um, all of them add something very unique to our team, um, which I think have a lot of diversity, which is what we need. And all our freshmen have been so committed to the process of getting better, um, coming in early, getting their work in, embracing the physicality of college, which I think is a, is a big deal for freshmen. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really happy to have all these guys with us now. And, uh, and I'm also really happy that we, we form a team as a whole. Uh, I really feel like we don't have anything cliquey going on. It's really like 15 guys just hanging up together, uh, working toward the same objective. And I think that's the main thing, especially for me as a senior and potential leader of this team, like seeing the guys working for each other is, uh, is what makes me the happiest, yeah. Jalen, Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. We have that student before athlete, but we don't talk about it as much. Nationally, you don't hear the student side of it. The Dr. Daryl Hart Award, team's top scholar athlete at Duke. You got it not once, but twice. Can you just go into that? Because now you're at a school where obviously education is a huge part of this. Um, yeah, it was a great award. Um, I know, you know, growing up in my family, education was very important. If I didn't have good grades, I wouldn't be able to play basketball, I wouldn't be able to play my video games. And, you know, it was always about, you know, first, my mom always taught me it was first being a great person, second, being a great student, and third, being a great athlete. And, you know, those are things that I prioritize in my life, you know. Obviously, you know, the ball is going to, it's going to eventually stop, but knowledge is something that no one can take away from you. And that was something that was very important for me, you know, as an athlete, but also as an African-American athlete that, you know, I showed that I was more than just an athlete. And that's a phrase that I try to carry throughout. And obviously Duke is surrounded by great um, students, student athletes and students in general. And Stanford's also surrounded by great students. So that was something that was very important to me.